Tory MPs lay into Osborne's tax credit cuts. The Prime Minister has asked us that everything we do must pass the family test. Cutting tax credits before wages rise does not achieve that. Showing children that their parents would be better off not working at all does not achieve that. Sending a message to the poorest and most vulnerable in our society that we do not care does not achieve that either. Madam Deputy Speaker, I believe the pace of these reforms is too hard and too fast. As these proposals stand, too many people will be adversely affected. Something must give. For those of us proud enough to call ourselves compassionate Conservatives, it must not be the backs of the working families we purport to serve. The Chancellor has gone on the offensive over his plan to cut tax credits, claiming it would cost taxpayers £40 billion by next year without the proposed changes. Treasury analysis shows that spending on the benefits has risen by more than £15 billion in the past five years, equivalent to 200,000 nurses or the entire Home Office budget. By saying that spending on tax credits has gone up by £15 billion in the last five years, five years that involved the Coalition, Liberal Democrats and David Cameron and George Osborne and the Conservatives, by admitting this, Osborne, or the Treasury, same thing, is proving what people have been saying all along, that austerity simply doesn't work. So you want to introduce austerity cuts as a government. You make loads of cuts, you make loads of people redundant. The redundant people can't find decent jobs now because there's no investment in the country and hardly anybody is taking people on. In fact, most companies, all they are doing is laying staff off. So these redundant people have to take low-paid, unskilled jobs, which are then topped up with tax credits. With more people in low-paid, unskilled jobs and claiming tax credits, guess what happens to the tax credit bill? It goes up. Crude analogy, but bear with me. Imagine a family living together where the mum and dad work, the son also has a job, but the daughter doesn't work and she's not really that bothered about getting a job. She likes Jeremy Kyle too much. So this household wants to cut its costs and bring in more money, i.e. they want to impose austerity on themselves to allow themselves to be able to pay off their growing debts. What should they do? Should they, one, stop buying all luxuries and maybe look where they could make easy savings, such as only going out to eat once a week instead of three times a week they currently do. Maybe they could help their daughter look for a job and realise that Jeremy Kyle is a complete asshole and numbing her brain. The daughter getting a job, as well as the savings being made, will bring more money into the household, allowing them to comfortably reduce their debts over a long period of time. This is what a sensible government would do, but unfortunately, we haven't got a sensible government. The second option, two. Do you think, in order to cut costs and spending to help pay down their debts, this family should reduce their food and heating budget by at least 50%, starve a bit more, and go cold in the winter? Do you think that mum and dad should also quit their jobs because it costs them money in petrol and train fares to commute to work? so they should go on benefits. They can then start watching Jeremy Kyle and keep their daughter company at home every day. By doing this, they're not spending as much money. Regardless of the fact that they're not bringing in hardly any money to the household, at least they aren't spending as much as they were before. But overall, their debts are surprisingly rising. This is what our current government is doing in a roundabout kind of way. But you get the picture. Crude analogy, I know. Osborne is moaning that the tax bill's gone up by 15 billion in the last five years, so he's now got to hurt 3 million families to get some of his money back. The tax bill going up is a direct result of Osborne's policies over the last five years. Maybe Osborne should lay off the white stuff. It's clearly dulling his brain. 
If you cut public services as much as you have in the last five years and remove investment into the country and then plan to cut public services and remove even more investment over the next five years, people are going to lose their jobs. I agree the unemployment numbers are coming back, but the jobs that are being created are having to be subsidised by way of tax credits because they're unskilled, low-paid jobs. But instead of addressing the issue and looking to improve and invest in our country, Osborne and Cameron have clearly set us on a race to the bottom path. What with Osborne and his cocaine and rectum, and Cameron with his love for pigs, no wonder this country's going down the pan.